Hi, this is Steve from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us as always online at gsuitetips.com. You can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on Google Plus, and you can subscribe on YouTube to follow all these videos. Um, this evening's uh, video is going to be an update on an existing tip from some time ago and i'm just going to show you the existing tip it's all about um, counting things that you're going to download so count the number and type of items in a google drive folder um, and this is a very old <laughs> uh, quite ancient actually dialog box that used to come up used to come up no longer does um, when you did a download on a folder and you can see that this tip was explaining to you how you could see how many different types of files there were in a download uh, six, and 675 in total and how it was made up here with different types of files actually rather useful no longer available it's a lot slicker now a uh, little bit less clunky but you can't use it for this odd tip so we're refreshing this one and i'm going to show you what you can do I've set on this Chromebook uh, environment, I've set it to ask me where it wants to save things, just to delay things a little bit, otherwise it all happens far too fast. Um, and this should make some sense to you, I'm hoping. It's a little bit odd, this, uh, but it does work. So here you go. I'm going to say, I've got a folder here called Projects, okay? And I want to know how many things are in this folder. And that's quite a tough thing to find out in Google without using some third-party tool. And the old tip uh, used to, as I say, give you it in this format and break things down for you. Uh, now that no longer happens. So watch what does happen. If I right click on here, I can click download and this will zip things up. So we need to be watching carefully. It's zipping. OK. And it will tell me how many things uh, it's putting into this zip file. So we're going to watch here where I'm moving my mouse around. OK. And it should tell me the number of files that are involved in this zip file. And I can't do this without it creating a zip file. It feels a bit like I'm cheating it here because it's doing all the work, but I'm not actually going to use it. 16 files zipped, it says there. Okay, and this message you'll watch, this will, I'm not getting rid of it, it just goes away. So you have to be watching. And it's told me 16 files, but it hasn't told me the makeup of those files. If I didn't put, um, if I hadn't put on ask me before downloading, then it would be downloading that zip file. So if you use this technique for something very, very large, one, it will take some time to create the zip file. You don't get very long to see the message, okay? It doesn't give you a breakdown like the old one did, okay? And it would start downloading automatically unless you told Chrome to ask you first, which I did in this case. So i am just been teasing it. I'm not really gonna do that. I'm gonna cancel. So I'm not sure how useful that really is. I think there are some third-party tools out there you might find more useful, give you more information uh, than this one. Indeed, you might look back to the, um, uh, the copy folder recent tip that we video for you, which also gives you a breakdown on the number of um, items you can find. But there you go. We want to refresh that one because it was out of date. So what you can see here will be going away soon. We're going to get rid of this because it's no longer up to date. Uh, it's from some time ago. I hope that's of some use, <laughs> a little bit dubious at best, but I um, wanted to update it anyway and give you the new information. So thank you very much for watching. Um, reminder that you can find us at gsuitetips.com and you can follow us on Twitter, Google Plus and subscribe on YouTube. And this is thank you very much from Steve in the UK and I'll see you on the next one.